okay so now from this video onwards we will start working or uh, on our enemy ai so basically as you know in the starting videos we have added our enemy package as you can see we have different types of enemies right here so if you select that first enemy okay these are the enemies you can use whatever one you like okay so for example we will first of all use this enemy so just drag and drop this enemy right there okay here it is let's click on prefab unpack completely let's rename this as enemy one okay let's drag and drop him down below for now and let's add a tag to him so we will take this as enemy click on enemy let's also add him on the enemy layer as well okay so now if we click on enemy let's select the enemy layer yes change children let's tag him as enemy as well that's it now we need to create a ai for our enemy okay so that when the game start this enemy will go ahead and find the player or the player team okay and then this enemy will shoot them okay simply shoot them so what we can do it already have the animator so we will leave the animator as it is let's click on scripts create a new script by the name of enemy then click on enemy and attach the script let's move the script up right there and now let's open the script and now our enemy ai will have three main state the first one will be the pursue state the second one will be the shoot state and the third one will be the respawn state in the pursue when the game start the enemy will look for our player or our player team okay and when he find someone for example if it is our player then he will find the player and then just run towards the player okay and then we have the shoot state in the shoot state the enemy will simply first of all find the player as i told you in the pursue and then in the shoot when the player is find and the enemy is close to the player or the player team then the enemy will shoot on the player or the enemy team okay and then the third state will be the respawn state so for example if we kill that enemy then after killing that enemy we will respawn that enemy again so this will be three basic state for our enemy ai so first of all let me just remove these functions okay restart and update and then at the top right here we will say using unity engine dot ai since we will be dealing with nav mesh agent okay and now save the script and for now get back to the enemy and right here attach the nav mesh agent and then what we can do is to simply select this whole environment okay as you can see this is our whole environment and what we can do is to click on window ai and let's open up this navigation okay and then click on this bake right here we will simply bake this whole environment so that our enemy agent can work in this environment because our enemy agent now have the nav mesh agent so the nav mesh agent required a bake environment first of all if we click on the object okay everything is set up let's first of all pick the environment so we will leave the step height as 0.1 okay and let's click on bake let's change it to 0.2 and click bake okay we don't see the blue lines on the map let's turn on the gizmos now as you can see we can see the blue lines so in these blue lines the player can walk okay as you can see but this doesn't seems too good so what we will do we will 
increase this step height value let's change it to 0 0.5 okay we can just actually leave this as 0 0.1 if you say and just for testing let's leave this as it is okay and then later in the videos we will update this if our enemy was not able to work somewhere right here okay where the nav mesh doesn't exist okay for now let's just leave it so now we have baked the environment for our enemy we have added the enemy nav mesh agent now in the next video we will start adding the enemy ai